All right, what's going on everybody? This is our first vid of the day, and let's get into it. So, this is a sneaker. The Nike Air Command Force. This is the, um, the bleach denim, or wash denim, as people call it. Um, these retroed in January. Oh, some stand socks. I didn't realize I put those in there. These match the bottom, I'll show you in a second. Um, these came out in, I believe, January of 2015. Super underrated, understated. Not enough people like them, and it's sad. But it also makes me happy because it makes me able, or allows me to be able to get these DS for $50, which is what happened. So, the original Command Force, released in 91 I believe um, they were kind of made famous most of you know by the movie white men can't jump Woody Harrelson's character Billy Hoyle wore these in the movie not this colorway but the uh, kind of like the bolt green white and black colorway um, these are becoming one of my favorite sneakers in the ro ro rotation, honestly. They look great with so many different things, but the the pink really popped. That's why I bought these socks, actually. Because if you can see how bright the pink is on the bottom, they need to be washed. I just wore them, but... Sorry. There we go. You can see how bright that pink is. And I bought these to go with them for when I wear them in the summer with shorts. Um, and if you're wondering, these are the Stance I Icons. Um, I think it was part of the Neon Pack, but they're, they're $10 on Foot Locker's website. And most websites are selling these ones for $10. <clears throat> but um, back to the shoe. These have an air pump right here in the ankle, right there, squeeze, squeeze. And then there's this release valve right here and you can see that it, it sticks out just enough that you can press it and release the air. I haven't actually tried it because I don't care, but um, that's what they're supposed to be able to do. These are awesome. They, uh, like I said, they look great with, um, these, like, I wear them with, like, these twill joggers, almost like a Carhartt brown. Um, I also wear them with black. Uh, I've seen a lot of people wearing them with jeans, which is weird, because that's a lot of blue jean. But, um, that's just my opinion. A lot of people don't like them just because they look so big. But I'm also 6'4", so I can kind of pull these off just because my legs are so long, and I'm big, so they, they just kind of work. See how bright that pink is? All the little pink accents, accents on here really, like, pop. It almost makes the shoe feel tie-dye, kind of like what I have on today. <laughs> um, this shirt would actually go pretty well with these. Honestly. I also love the back speckled midsole. It's like a Jackson Pollock. But look at that. The embroidered, fully embroidered. Pink Nike Air on the heel. How cool is that? Mixed with these. Heck yeah. That's a combo right there. So let's check out the label. The official colorway is black, white, pink pow. <laughs> and I got size 13. 
I did. This isn't here anymore. The price tag is. I want to say they were under 200 though retail. Probably like 180. Um, they came out in 2015, so shoes were a little cheaper then. I'll have to look uh, after I get done with this video. Or if you know, leave a comment and let me know. That kind of stuff. Um, it always. Uh, you know, you know, I don't want to say it. It's like, it's information I always like to know. Just because I like to see how much inflation has gone up. Because you see some of these, like, OG Jordan 4s that used to sell for, like, you know, like a buck 60, buck 80 back in the day. And now they're, like, 220. It's just crazy. Same with the Jordan 11s. Jordan 11s are skyrocketing. But, um, I don't know. What do you think about this shoe? I think they're awesome. This denim, man, they're onto something. It's crazy that a Jordan 4 teamed up with Levi, and those are, like, hyped and super expensive, but these are just, you know, like a Nike with denim and nothing. People don't even know these exist. I got these on eBay, dead stock, with the box, uh, for $50, plus shipping and handling. So, that was a win. Cause these are like, in my mind, these are like $200 all day. That's a $200 shoe. But I keep these in the best condition I possibly can. I'll get some close ups for you guys. Let me see, I'll do this shoe. Get this one off the box. It'll show you what the inside looks like. The inside has got the pink Nike Air. And it's almost like a like a corduroy. But it's not. It's kind of just like a... It's just like cloth. But it's just the way they, they made it ribbed like that. Um, that's what the tag looks like. They were made... Um, July 2014 to September 2014 and they came out like I said in January of 2015 um, I don't know if you can really see the quality of denim just by the picture but it's good you know it's a it's a good denim it's thin because as you can tell like right here I don't mean sections almost look like paper thin like on the the plastic part but then it moves into like a thicker as you can see right there like a thicker down and then this is thicker like the toe box is thicker or more thick I don't know if thicker is a word it probably is um, <clears throat> yeah I mean it's a cool shoe I really do enjoy this I wear it all the time people are always breaking their necks on I'm like what the what the heck are those and if, oh, I'll, I'll give you a side profile of this. See that bubble? There's like a plastic thing in here, and what it does is it pumps up everything around the ankle to tighten up. And then you can really lace these babies <laughs> starting here. And then you can get into it up here really tight, so then you end up feeling all the compression around the ankle from the air and then you can release it like I said with the button in the back but yeah I don't know if I'd ever wear these playing basketball but on the street heck yes these are awesome and that's all I really wanted to show you for that shoe what do you guys think comment down below and as always I hope you subscribe and like the videos it goes a long way and until next time peace